Hey guys, and welcome to today's session. I'm going to talk about increasing the amount of spin on your surf, pendulum surf. A lot of people all the time ask me, how can I increase the spin on my surf? So I'm going to try and give you three key elements to help you develop more spin on your pendulum surf. So tip number one, this is where a lot of players uh, struggle with, is the arm speed. What happens when they surf, they throw the ball up, they go very fast, and then they decelerate just before point of contact. So it's there, and then they slow down, and then obviously you get very limited amount of spin on the serve when you do that. So what you want to try and do is focus on increasing the speed when you hit the ball. But how can you keep control of it at the same time? So I'm going to just try and show you a couple of little things that will help you with your control while your arm speed is very fast. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so one of the things I like to do with my players is just take a piece of paper and hold it up. So I make them hold it up like this, and I make them whip like that as fast as they can through the piece of paper. Notice, if you slow down, you don't hear a big sound, for example. But if you go very fast, it should sound like that. So that's when you know you're doing the right movement, the right speed, and the correct um, technique. Just like that. Hopefully, if you're really, really quick, you might be able to even tear the piece of paper. So that's number one. The second part is how do we control the, the ball? OK, so this is the part where, again, you can use a piece of paper if you want. And this is where you actually just scrub. You hear that? You don't do this. It's, it's just a very, very thin contact. When you learn to do this, this is when you learn how to go with a fast arm speed, but at the same time control the ball because the contact is very, very thin. Okay, so the second part, which uh, will help you to develop an increased amount of spin, is where do you contact the ball on the bat with a pendulum serve? So think about it like a hammer. If you've got a hammer and you're smashing down a nail, you don't want to hit the middle of the hammer because the velocity is limited there. Right at the tip is where you get the most velocity and the most power. So it's the same with the serve. You're looking to contact the ball in this zone, in this zone, in this area over here of the bat, when you're doing the pendulum serve, so just here. So you're going, obviously, as fast as you can, and then the contact should be in and around this, this zone over here. Hopefully, in a slow motion, you will see that the ball does actually connect in this area. So I just want to just be a bit more precise and show it a little bit more clearly on the diagram here. So this is the area where I'm looking for you to contact the ball. Hopefully in the slow-mo, I'm hoping that my contact was exactly where I'm saying. I mean, I have done slow-mos uh, of myself doing this serve in the past, and I did notice that I do hit it here. But of course, we're, we're all human beings, so you know, if you're going to hit the ball there or there, or slight different contact points, it's going to happen, but if we're talking about generating maximum spin, we're looking at contacting the ball in this area. So tip number three is all about the ball toss. Just like anything, if we can use the environment to help us, then that's great. So what we're doing here is we're throwing the ball a little bit higher. Normally my advice would be to throw the ball above your head, if you watch any of the top players, I think I haven't seen a top player, unless, well, depending on the serve, by the way, some of them uh, will throw the ball slightly low because they're doing maybe a jab serve or a backhand serve. But generally, when you're doing a pendulum serve, most of the top players will throw the ball above their head, so in and around there or there. If they throw it lower, then the amount of spin is reduced. So what we're looking to do is throw the ball just a bit above our heads, Obviously, if we throw it too high, we might lose control, depending on how much you practice, so it's down to you. For me, I feel comfortable uh, throwing the ball 
one foot or just slightly above my head. So it should look like this. Oh, maybe it shouldn't look like that. <laughs> oh, that was loaded. So again, like I said, if we're gonna use the environment to the, to the best of our abilities, in simple terms, if I throw the ball not so high, the ball as it's coming down has only got a certain amount of time to increase the speed. And as I throw it higher, then it's got more time to come down, which means it's got more weight and energy on it, which I can use to uh, increase the amount of spin on my pendulum serve. So I drew this kind of diagram to try and help you out to make it easier for you to understand. But from, from my perspective, I'm always looking to take little nuggets to make whatever I have the best it can be. And this little thing can actually not only be to increase the amount of spin on your serve, but also to deceive your, your, your opponent. You can do three different kinds of ball tosses. You can do a short ball toss, a, a medium ball toss, and a high ball toss, and do exactly the same movement, but you'll get a different amount of spin because of the velocity. So again, that's a nice little secret tip for you to, to use with your serve. Okay, so uh, I hope those three tips were, you find useful to yourself. And I almost guarantee that if you use those things with practice, with time, you will see that you will increase the amount of spin on your serve. So I just want to say a few things if you don't mind. Um, I'm going to come out with a service, a full service program called Serve to Win. Uh, hopefully that'll be coming out in the near future. I will publicize it once it does come out. And I want to give you also one extra little tip for increasing the amount of spin. Everyone knows this, but they forget to implement it. I want you to know, well, you know that you have to use your wrist to get that extra spin. But what I'd like you to do is to be aware of it. So how do we become aware of it? What we're going to start doing is we're going to hold the ball and we're going to pretend we're going to serve, and then we're going to take our arm back and look. Is our wrist back, or is our or your wrist straight? If your wrist is straight, then you know you're limiting yourself. If your wrist is cocked back, then you know you can get, or you will, be, you will enable yourself to get extra spin with all those other three elements that we uh, spoke about before. As always, thank you for um, watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please hit the like. Hit the, uh, I think it's called the bell thing. So if you can hit that as well, that'd be great. Then you get notified as to when I'm uh, posting my next video. And please share as well. You know, I really want to continue building this. And with your help and with your tenderness love, we can all grow together. See you next video. See you on the next video. <laughs>